Good morning, Internet. Let's answer some of your questions. First up, Anonymous asked, why do you think so many people are bad at managing their free time? There's probably a large number of reasons why someone would be bad at that, but I think a big part of it is probably because we often confuse urgency with importance. You're watching a TV show, you're texting, you're playing a video game, there's a lot of stuff that you know, feels urgent or compelling that isn't really important. There's just a lot of stuff that when it grabs your attention or while you're doing it, kind of feels like you have to do it right now. And I think that sucks up most of your time. It's a string of relatively unimportant things that compel you to do them. And in the end, the problem is that you can't prioritize on impulse. You know, your brain will almost always screw that up. You kind of have to decide beforehand, rationally, what matters to you and what you should be spending time on. Never trust yourself to wing this. It usually doesn't work. Katsumi Vision asks, how come you can't give blood to just everybody and what exactly happens when you give blood to someone with the wrong blood type? Different blood types have different proteins on the surface of the red blood cells. So these are the antigens and antibodies. So if you give your body blood cells with proteins that it isn't used to, it typically treats them as foreign invaders and will attack them. The antibodies will attach to the antigens of the other blood cells and mark them for destruction. So from there, stuff will go very wrong. You're basically going to get a very very strong immune response, which skipping over the details will result in your blood clotting up everywhere. And lastly, MMT Saigon asks, don't you think getting an insane amount of money would make you happier at all? Initially it would, but I think the problem with insane amounts of money for as a means for happiness is that you're probably going to hit a point of diminishing returns really quickly. What you often hear from really rich people is that once a basic amount of luxury is achieved, the amount of money or luxury you have is no longer you know, directly proportional to how happy you are. Ironically, I think it might even be counterproductive uh, for your happiness to be that rich, at least if you're not really proactive or really you know, insightful when it comes to your own emotions. Because if you have that kind of money and you don't feel so great, like you want to feel happier or better, then it literally becomes easier to throw money at stuff for you know, short-lived enjoyment and fulfillment than to try and be happy or grateful by making some kind of mental effort. So I feel you easily get stuck in this system that doesn't really work, but that really compels you to keep trying it anyway. The same thing with sex, you know, someone recently asked me, doesn't it make evolutionary sense that having more sex should make us happier? Because we're ultimately designed to have sex and pass on our genes. The answer there is that natural selection doesn't care if you're happy. You know, all that matters for evolution's sake is that you have sex. Think of organisms that die or get eaten right after sex. They're not really better off, but natural selection still works fine because the DNA got passed on. In evolutionary terms, you know, what happens to you after often doesn't really matter. So while sex and money are both going to be important in your life, I think neither have the inherent you know, power or original intention of making you happier in the long run. That part's still up to you. But that is kind of all I had for this video. You can post your comments down below. You can find my Twitter, Facebook and Tumblr in the underbar. Click the like button if you like this video. Share it if you really liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.